this year I'm just glad that they're having the Grammys, but every year, you know, it's 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 prestigious. The Grammys is something that every artist works really hard to to be a part of. So I'm glad to be back here and um, you know, I've been I've been watching the Grammys and hoping to be part of it for, you know, since I was a little girl. So every time I get to be here, it's really special. Rehearsals are great. It's really low key. It's a little bit sad because we can't see everybody that's performing. We miss each other like texting from trailers, but <laughs> but everybody's at least happy to be out and about. The Grammys the first year was very, I was scared and nervous. I mean, it was just such a huge deal. I'm from a tiny town in East Texas. So coming out here to, to be part of this glamorous, prestigious event was was overwhelming in a great way. Um, I'm pretty sure I brought my little brother as my date that year. And, um, you know, I, I, I had such a great time and I realized how important it was. So I've been working to stay part of it ever since. <laughs> I guess a memory of the Grammys was hanging out going to um, a party with Jamie Foxx, who was super sweet to me. And like, I was just shocked that he liked my music and was playing it at his party. And I remember being like, how does he even know who I am? I'm from Lindell, Texas. <laughs> like, so that was a good memory. And that was like my first time here. So that really, uh, I was like, oh, there's a bigger world out there. And I, I get to be part of it. This is awesome. <laughs> well, I just um, announced a, an acoustic record, which I've been going out to the middle of nowhere in uh, Marfa, Texas, in writing songs. And so we decided to put it out because it's, kind of campfire music and I feel like that's how everyone's listening to music right now is sort of just around their fires and at home on their porches so we put out a record that kind of you know feels like you're right there with us at, at, their, at our fire so I'm excited about that and it's it's fun to just do different things and I think uh, 2020 and 2021 so far have allowed us to sort of branch out and do different kinds of things that we normally would let business lead but right now I feel like a lot of artists are letting the art just lead because business isn't making all the decisions right now. So, um, you know, I'm ready to I'm ready to put out a, a real record, too. But this acoustic thing's close to my heart for sure. To break out of quarantine and be at the Grammys is like a day in heaven walking a musical road in heaven and uh, no kids, you know, no oodles and noodles, it's bliss. <laughs> the way I'm gonna use my voice to spread awareness this Sunday is to, to just give people the sense of, of, of family through, through the soul of my voice, through the ancestors, through the soul that was passed through me. For those who believed in, 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 in peace and and healing and all that good stuff. So to sing in a way to vibrate change and all that with this voice, I'll bring awareness to something positive. What do I think the future of the music industry business will be? Uh, the pandemic has changed things. Um, you know, you, you have to be, there's restrictions. Small groups, um, masks, um, earlier nights, no late night hanging out. So I think more online virtual shows will be, will be, uh, yeah, will be the new thing for a while until people feel comfortable going back into society. There's still some crazy people out there who are going out regardless, but for those who really, really want to have a great time, I think they want to wait it out until everything is safe. But, you know, we'll be back up and running before you know it. How good will it feel to be in front of my fans live. Man, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna sing a sad song that makes me happy. <laughs> and I'm gonna cry tears of joy. The, the last Grammy in New York City, the first one in New York City, I had the worst boots on and my feet hurt so bad that I didn't go to any party. I, I forfeited the night. And uh, I, I kind of regret, I kind of regret it. But, but I, I slept good, and my feet were on fire. The moment when I found out I, I was nominated for four Grammys, um, it definitely felt twice as more impactful as last year because I was nominated for two. So, and, you know, and I made a bold statement when I was nominated for them last year. I said I'll be at the Grammys and will be nominated every year of my career, you know what I mean, as a mainstream artist. So it's just, you know, it's, it's definitely like repayment for the work that I put in over this past year, especially with it being a year 
with uh, us being hit with this pandemic and still having a song, you know, worthy of being nominated for Song of the Year by the Grammys and just going number one on Billboard, the longest running number one song on Billboard for 2020. So it's just, you know, it, it's definitely, you know what I mean? It's, it's definitely showing me, you know, that the work I put in was absolutely worth it, you know what I mean? So nothing short of a blessing again. I felt blessed when I found the news. It's the Grammys. It's the Grammys. You know what I mean? I don't know what more I can say. You know what I mean? It's the Grammys. This is what everybody, anybody in this business, you know, it's, it's, it's I guess, one of the highest accolades, of course. Yeah, so it's the Grammys. The Grammys are the Grammys. That's, it's just that the Grammys, that's a universal term. My kids may know what the Grammys, they may know that the Grammys are important just by hearing it. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's definitely an honorable, um, an honorable award ceremony. You know, to be a part of. I've learned that, you know, I'm that much more resilient to be able to, you know, rise amongst my peers uh, during such a difficult time period and such an unexpected time period, such a spontaneous, you know what I mean? Such a spontaneous um, string of events coming with the pandemic. You know, like when I dropped the song this nominated for Song of the Year, we had just found out that uh that the pandemic was hitting and at this point we didn't know if we were going to be people were cleaning out the grocery stores everybody was stocking up on food and supplies and while everybody else maybe you know took a step back on releasing music or you know afraid of how much success their music would be able to have and not being able to market it me and and uh, scmg we stepped up at interscope we stepped up and we we jumped out there on faith and you know and we we laid it all on the line and put out an entire album that that uh did harbor a, a number one song and a grammy nominated song of the year so the pandemic i mean it just it just taught us to just you know keep our head down and keep working and just stay focused and believe in ourselves so. grammy nominated artist doja cat how does that title sound it sounds crazy. And also because I didn't like my name for a long time. I named myself when I was like 16 and you know, so I, yeah, I, I never really liked my name, but now I feel like it makes sense. It's all coming together. It's all full circle and I'm, I'm very happy about that. Well, speaking of a blast from the past, you previously mentioned that you made a bet with your friends that if you were to ever be nominated for a Grammy, they would have to get a tattoo somewhere on their body of your name. You Did know what? Happen? It's if I win. If win. Not if I'm nominated, but that would be hilarious. I really am waiting to see if this all works out. I'm. Uh, he's going to get my name tattooed or anything that I say really like I, I'm going to I'm not gonna destroy his life or his body, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna, I'll make, I'll make it cute. Like I usually try to do, I try to give different feelings, different vibes every show, so this show is that. This show is another girl, another feeling, another theme, so I hope that they enjoy that and yeah, get into it. How have you been preparing for it? Um, lots of rehearsal, lots of skipping rehearsal. Well, not lots of it, but you know, the when I need to. Um, just rehearsing, drinking water somewhat, and um, doing what I gotta do, really. And last Sleeping. Not, can you give us a little tease as to what we can expect to see on that stage? Um, lots of black, and lots of tactical movement, okay? It's very much giving action movie very much giving color and very intense, and very strong. That's what I wanted to bring for the Grammys because that's how I feel about this entire situation. It's insane for me, so. Hello, my name is Ben Winston. I'm the executive producer of the Grammy Awards this year. It's my first time uh, running the Grammy Awards. It's a very, very strange year to be running it. Uh, we're actually, for the first time, not in Staples. Usually we would be over the road at Staples. Today we're in, you can have a look, one of the biggest venues you're ever going to see. Um, don't go that far around because we can't reveal any of the sets that are, that are waiting there. But um, when we were planning this show, of course, we had to make it incredibly safe for everybody. Um, and we also wanted to try something really different and new. So instead of... 
uh, having it in the Staples this year, we decided to build our, our own amazing set, which you can sort of see. We're not going to show you much of the set today because we want to keep it for a surprise for the show. But behind that wall is a set that has specifically uh, been created for the Grammys this year. And so um, I'll give you a little tour. I'll give you a little tour of what we're doing here um, in a COVID safe Grammys. Let's go. So the way we've actually done it on this year in the show, rather than having one stage because there's not an audience, we're actually having four stages in the round and then all the performers will be watching each other. So this is where the teams will sit and watch their artists perform. Um, and then they'll follow their own path up to their stage. And essentially, this is like the hub of where it all happens. And um, this is where we'll be very nervous come Sunday because we're trying to pull off a show with 23 performances, 10 awards, uh, and three and a half hours of live TV on CBS. But So this is where I'll be sweating profusely. And then in here is the control room, which is where Hamish Hamilton, the director, is. We'll just take a little... He's working very hard. He's working very hard. Don't go too far in. There you go. It's very busy rehearsing. <laughs> We're on the, I'm not going to reveal too much because I really want everyone to watch the show and see it, but we're on the side of stage right now. And what we have is these four stages that are in the round. What I really, really didn't want this year was like a, a Zoom show where people are sort of, artists are sending in music videos or not feeling like they're really part of it. So one of the things we wanted to do was just bring people together, obviously safely. Um, and it's incredibly exciting to think that on this stage on Sunday, there's going to be all some of the greatest artists in the world performing. Yeah, no, that's, that's enough, that's enough. That's enough. Well, you'll, you'll see more on Sunday. This is three and a half hours and it's the whole of America in the world and it's 23 performances and it's eight of the, 10 of the most prestigious awards that these people will ever win. So it'll be terrific if you tuned in on Sunday, March 14th, that's this Sunday, uh, for the Grammy Awards at 8 p.m. I'm feeling good. I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited. I'm just so happy to be able to get back on the stage and do it safely and just like, you know, get to see all the other artists performing. It's, it's really exciting, although quite different um, from last time. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very much looking forward to it. I mean, DaBaby's amazing. He's like, he's there at rehearsal. He'll come and join in. He makes sure we know like what we're doing, what, how we're gonna look at the camera. Like he's very, he's very collaborative and amazing. And so that's just been a blast to do that with him as well. It's just been so incredibly rewarding, the response from the fans, the listeners, the peers. I mean, you know, getting nominated at the Grammys is just unbelievable. And you know, this, this album <clears throat> is just so important to me. So I'm just grateful that, that people have felt felt that way about it. I guess patience and strength have been two things that have really come quite strongly out of this record. First of all, um, I guess I, I, I just, even though it was like at home and with like the support of everybody around, it gave me so much confidence and made me feel like I could like, I don't know, I could really do it and I like deserve to be here or I don't know, it was, um, I guess it's, it's constantly giving me so much still that I feel like I look back at so many experiences during this album that I, I'm so grateful for and I'm so thankful for. And at the same time, you know, being able to do it from home was never something I'd envisioned in a million years. And to still have, have had that response is, is unbelievable. So I'm still on that journey, but I'm feeling very proud. <laughs> 